friends in Flosstube land. It's Sarah, our Stitching Kingdom, and it is Monday, April 1st, 2019, and I'm here for my weekly update. It's um, first day of spring break, so you're going to hear a lot of vehicles going up and down the street because I just heard a motorcycle, and so it's, you know, everybody's wanting to get out and about, so. Um, just first off, welcome. If you're new here, um, thank you for for finding me and, and tuning in. And if you're you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Um, love hearing from you, love having your support. Um, didn't do much stitching this week. Um, Friday, or Saturday was a complete wash. Um, we had Alice's um, dance competition for her team and they did awesome. So I'll add, I'll put more information about that at, towards the end, but um, her jazz dance, the Star Lord, they got second place on for their um for their team and then their lyrical their um here comes the sun um got first place so that's super awesome and then their studio her studio got um overall champions so that was super exciting and super awesome very proud of them all their hard work she loves watching the older girls dance and she's got a lot of really good friends and we've made some amazing friends at this dance studio and We've danced. She's been there since she was two and a half. So, you know, the past five, almost five years of her life. So, it's been really awesome to to be part of that family and to to see her grow as a dancer and to see her make friendships and to get new friends. And you know, I've actually rekindled a couple of old friendships too that um, from people that I've gone to school with. So it's pretty awesome. Um, and then I think that's it for kind of personal. Like I said, we're off this week for um, for spring break so uh, kids are home it's actually really nice that we didn't have to really do a whole lot today <laughs> um, no no not really getting up early got up a little early so Sarah could do some driving practice um, she's gonna go get her driver's license so that's super exciting um, it'll be after after we get back from spring fling which is on Friday we're gonna be leaving here on Thursday at o dark 30 pretty much but it'll be fine it'll be worth it we're so excited Michelle it's almost Friday it's almost Friday so super excited okay so jumping in we had, um, the last time I recorded was probably Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I think it was Wednesday because it was the day before my anniversary. So I did get a couple of things finished. Um, let's see here. Just looking at my notes, sorry. So I've been working in the car on Things Unseen and Shan asked me to start showing pictures. I forget that people haven't been here from the beginning so they haven't seen all the pictures but I don't think I've even shown a picture of Things Unseen. It's by Lizzie Kate. This is part of the um, Felt with the Heart Sal that I joined in. Um, Christine's finished, Stephanie's finished, um, I'm sure everybody else is finished but that's what we're, the full part looks, at, looks like. Um, I am just starting the words right here. Where is it? Right here. The cannot. I just finished. I think I just finished that word right there. So I'm. This was all um, right here. Was all the first hint because it was a three-part mystery cell, and um, now it's all out. But um, so this was the first part. The second part is here, and then the third part is down here. So I'm working on my second part right now and I'm actually I have worked this into Magical Stitches and um, because Lily and James met in the first year or in the seventh year I mean started dating in the seventh year they didn't meet started dating in the seventh year and the the quote on this is by Helen Keller and it's called the best and most wonderful most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched they must be felt with the heart and you know love is felt with the heart so that's what I went with so I'm right here um, you'll notice if you see Christine's things unseen that this color and this color on mine are switched because um, oh I can use this for my mistake one sweet but um, what happened is I was stitching along and realized that I had done this color in the wrong color so everything so in the wording I've changed all of the colors that should be the cocoa color to that, this kind of bayberry color, I guess, or raspberry color. And um, 
So for the words, I've just switched them. It's fine. It'll be okay. It looks fine. But then just made sure that I was hyper vigilant on <laughs> making sure it was the right thing because you wouldn't want, there's a flower down here. Um, didn't want to have a brown flower. It's, we want to have it pink. So, and then we didn't want a pink basket. We wanted a brown basket. So, but that's where I am on that. And I've been working on this one in my car when I've been waiting for the kids. So that one's got a thousand stitches because it's a year long extra credit. But like I said, I might break, bust it out and use it for one of the parts for this next one. And that's in my multi crafty hermit bag. She's on Instagram. She's off and on. Um, just whenever she's got got time and because she's a mom, she's, you know, she's busy. So I love her bags though. They're really great. Um, and then I also worked on the Alice Quaker, um, and then I finished, I got a page finish, I think. Yes, I did, because I posted it. And I will show what the finished product looks like. This is my Alice Quaker by RETM. It's out of print, really hard to find. Um, I borrowed this from an amazing friend of mine and where I have finished I have the rabbit right here finished I have um, part of this so it's like half of the tea party and half of this motif right here all right here and I'm working on this part this motif down here and then I'm gonna move up to the dormouse um, Tina from Tina Stitcher um, she's working on this well as well and she's got mo she's only got this much done or this much to go she's so she's got this bottom part corner right here and she's got Alice I think left to do and I don't know if she's got the white rabbit done yet but she she's hers is really pretty she's doing it on um her an over dyed conversion it's gorgeous so but this is where I am right now so I've got that finished and I worked on this for my happy, and this is my Alice Needle Minder that I got in a Sam Dixie Exchange Sampler um, exchange box, the spring box. It was so cute. My little exchange partner, Andrea, sent that to me. I loved it. She's all blinged out. So, working on her. And she's going to come with me, I think, to Spring Fling. If not for, you know, just oohs and ahs and work on it if I can. So, and that's in my bag that I bought. This is my Evertotes. This is a bigger, one of the larger ones. It's got a nice pocket up front. And then it's nice and big on the inside. So I could actually put multiple projects in here. It's kind of a, I like how it's got this. And it has lovely, my lovely cat's cat hair all over it. And then, so Friday we got an assignment for to work on um, something over the Christmas holiday and I misread it and I thought it was going to be due on Sunday just like the rest of the homework. No, it was due Saturday at midnight and Saturday we were at Alice's dance competition all day. I did not get any stitching in that day, but say la vie. So this is what I'm working on. Uh oh, where to go? Did I take it out? I hope I didn't take it out. Hold, please. Oh no, it's right here. There it is. It's just backwards. And this is Hear the Bells by Hands on Design. And I am working on, I'm going to make it everything. I have all of the patterns now in this series, and I'm going to be making them into the little short stack pin pillow. But that's what it looks like right there. So I've gotten, so I just started it Friday night and just didn't work on it Saturday, but I was able to finish all the wording. And then this is on a uh, picture this plus earthen and it's a 32 count linen, I believe. Yes, linen, cause it's not even but I like it. Um, I didn't have the maple syrup, the Gentle Arts maple syrup, so I changed it to um, a color that I got in a stitchy box. Um, it's kind of close. It's a little bit paler, but it works. I actually kind of like it. Um, if you look in the picture, it's a little bit darker. And then I'm using, it's called Autumn Walk. It was a, gen it was a limited edition that I got in a stitchy box. So 
that's what I'm using right there. Um, other life update, um, Ross and I celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary on Wednesday or on Thursday. It was a nice rainy day. It was lots of fun, but you know, we were inside most of the time, so it was fine. Um, and I'll add pictures at the end. Uh, we went to the Prairie Schooner and if any of you um, know Darlene Baumgartner and her, her, her uh, confusion, not confusion, but her calling Prairie Schooler patterns, Prairie Schooner patterns, um, when we were at Fall Fling, we're like, yes, Prairie Schooners do exist. They are covered wagons and there's a restaurant down in Ogden um, called the Prairie Schooner and you eat in covered wagons. And so I'll add pictures at the end. It's super fun. Um, so yeah, worked on Hear the Bells on Sunday. I actually got the 600 stitches in just, you know, a few hours too late, but I got a lot of work done, so it was really nice. And then, um, another part of our extra credit for, um, for Prisoner of Azkaban is to work on something that reminds us of crystal balls. And so I brought out 10B and I was able to work on this a lot yesterday did a lot of the beading and that's what my crystal ball part is. So I was able to get all these beadings beading done. I was able, I put some Jessica stitches in, um, that have the beads in it, but look at that sparkle. I'm trying to get it to pick up, but there's Swarovski bicones in there. Some really pretty mill hills. I haven't finished this one yet, but this one's all completed and there's that. And then in the corners here, are some are the bicones that are super sparkly and this is what 10b will look like it's a mandala and it's from wending stitches on etsy and i will link her below but it's a really fun fun pattern lots of sparkles lots of really pretty colors um so that was thursday through sunday and then we've gotten new assignments for the first part of April, but um, Prisoner of Azkaban goes, I believe, through the end of April, mid-April, somewhere around there, um, just because we need to stretch it out a little bit because the books are getting a little bit bigger. Um, so now we've got some troubles that are happening. Um, so I'll tell you what I'm stitching on for this week's homework and um, then plans for spring fling. Or, yeah. So uh, the troubles we have is the fat lady vanishing because um, Sirius tried to get in and um, kind of sliced her up, which is not fun. Um, so she ran away. And for that, we have to work on something that is close to a finish, at least 75% complete. So my, and I don't have a picture of this one because it is an Etsy pattern, but it's pretty much almost all complete. So this is my Stargate sampler by Boss Check on Etsy. It says, there's no place like home. This is the sign for Earth in Stargate. And so all I finished this morning while I was at the doctor's office, I finished this stitching right here and I'm going to fill in the cartouches. So these, these two lines right here on the border is about 80 stitches. I have to do 300. So if I don't, if I get, um, I'm going to get, you know, a good portion of them. I don't think I'm going to get 300 total, but I've got another project I can work on that's at least 75% complete. So, um, got that. So I just have to fill in this cartoon or this chevron up here, this chevron over here and this chevron over here and it will be done. Stitching it for a friend who asked me to fix, to make one for her. Um, I made one for my husband a couple years ago for, um, for his birthday. It was either birthday or Christmas. Um, so I'm going to be working on that if I don't get enough stitches and I don't have a picture of this one finished, um, because this is my oldest work in progress. It's, you know, I got it in like 1999. It's crazy but I'm going to work on because most of the stitching is done. I just need to finish the back or I need to finish this whole, this is my USA millennium sampler. I just have to finish this strand, this area of white or of this pale yellow and then do the back stitching. So that's pretty, you know, it's pretty much 75% done. So if I don't get my 300 stitches on my Stargate sampler, I'm going to finish out the 300 stitches on this one. So that'll be nice to have done. So, and that, this is in my bag that I am twins with, with Michelle Bendy. Michelle Bendy Stitchy, her channel's linked below. I get to see her on Friday. I'm so excited, but it is a delicious, done from Delicious Threads. 
is Marauder's Map Bag Vinyl Front. I love these Vinyl Front bags, but I also have another bag from her too that's not a Vinyl Front. But I love these. They're so fun. Um, and I, I sew, but, you know, I'd rather buy from others. I don't want to take the time and time away from my stitching, I guess. But, um, so 300 stitches on that. And then the second thing is Lupin was during his transformation of, you know, his werewolf transformation, basically. So he's sick, um, and can't really be around people. So Snape comes in to Defense Against the Dark Arts to substitute for him. And he totally changes up the lesson plan and teaches about werewolves. And it's like, no, we're not supposed to learn about that yet. But, you know, Snape is being Snape and being a little salty about things. So what we need to do is work on something that um, there's a mistake in it that we've just ran with or that um, we, something we've changed. So I've got a couple of options there. Um, my first one I can work on, I can use Hear the Bells because I did change that. And the other one I'm thinking of working on is my Eagle. This is by Sue Coleman. And I messed up on counting, but it doesn't matter because it's right over in here where it's not touching the Eagle over here. It's just kind of out over here. But I've made some of these on the totem a little bit too long. Like they're one strand, stitches and they're just a little too long, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. Um, you can't really tell unless you look at it and it's all kinds of the, you know, the, the spacing in between here is fine. This is all good. So we're fine. Um, and I think I've moved up. Yes. I've moved up to move, to work on this part of the Eagle to work on his head. Um, cause I did pick, get a page finish. So that's another option. I'm probably going to work on that just because you know, it's a fun one to work on, but yeah, I did move up to the, to the beak. So, so I'm going to be starting over here with 300 stitches. So, and put that in there. And another, this is another multi crafty hermit bag. I kind of went crazy one time and once Michelle told me about her and just went nuts and got all the project bags. I'm going to spike all the project bags. Okay, so 300 stitches on that. And then... Let's see here. And then the other thing is Dementors causing people to black out. So, because there was the... Quidditch match and Harry was flying and the Dementors came because they were hungry and they felt all the joy and the laughter and the excitement from the Quidditch game and they decided to come and have a snack and when the Dementors come close you don't feel good and it made Harry pass out so we are needing to stitch on something with dark thread so um got a couple of options there um one is my eagle I can but you have to stitch with the dark thread my other choice and I think this is what I'm going to do is cardinal I'm going to start cardinal points because I get to see Shelly this weekend too hi Shelly Shelly key x stitch and she's working on this so I'm going to work on this as well and there's black up in here so that is gentle arts raven I want to say yes it's raven so I'm going to work on that get that started so I don't have anything on it yet. It is in my bag from Christine. Stitch all the things. Love it. So excited to have won it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on this weekend or this week. Um, plans. I'm going to be taking Cardinal Points, I think, to um, Spring Fling. I'm going to be taking my uh, Mushroom Biscornu by Tiny Modernist to Spring Fling. Um, yes, yes, hi, come on in. And I'm going to, this is my other just Jen from Delicious Threads. Hi, Alice. Say hi. Hi. Mwah. You want to show them? Okay, show them your, your person. I made this at 
Cool. It's one of those you, where you fold it, the game, and so somebody draws the head, and then you keep it okay. folded, and somebody draws the body, this part of the body, and then they can, and then you refold it, and then somebody draws the bottom part of the body, so. It's me. So, super fun. I made McPeace. Yeah, this is called McPeace. So, super fun, and we're going to be doing that as a family. Yep. Today! Alice is super excited. I already got all the papers. Yep. How was your dance competition? Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you dance hard? Yes. Was it a long day? Yes. You slept till like what, 10.30 the next day? Oh no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but last night... Mm, yeah, last night she had a bit of a bug, so that wasn't fun. Alright, bug. Okay, I love you. Stuff. You haven't worked on anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> So if you work on something, then we can show you, okay? I love you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Shut the door. I'll be out in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, so the other thing I'm working on and I'm going to bring is the Lennon's, Linens and Threads mystery sampler. And I printed out April's and I just didn't bring it in. But this, the April has two swans right here. So this was, January was here, February was the frames, March was this motif right here, and April there's two swans right here. And I'm doing this in a silks for you. It is PB, I'm sorry, PR094, and is gorgeous. Peacock color silk. It's really pretty. I'll show it'll show it better on the on the um, fabric. And it's just a 20 or a 32 count, I want to say. I can't remember the count of it, but I've gotten the bird almost done. And I worked on these frames for the serious black because he was framed. Extra credit but or no assignment because he was framed and then i'm working more on the bird because he is a very majestic bird but i'm really loving the variegation on this and i only have to use one strand and i love it so i'm gonna take that one to work on because it's pretty easy there's not tons of counting but um you know if anything i could probably work on it in the car who knows but work on that one And then cardinal points, like I said, I'll probably work on that in the Mushroom Biscornu. And then I'll probably I have a list of a couple of things I want to get from Acorns because you can't not get anything when you go to Acorns, but you know. So I think I'm there on plans and projects and haul. I have some awesome haul. Um, I won Angie, the hibernation stitcher. I won her giveaway on her channel. And it was for the Cross My Heart brooch. And it's really kind of cool because it's that plastic Ada. So I'm really excited to work on that. And then this is the, the chart that goes with it. And it was from February Cross Stitcher Magazine. And it was just the little free thing that came with it. So thank you, Angie. I will start on that. And then I also bought from Artist Design, and I will, Amanda May, I will post it, I will link it below. And it's her Stitching My Stitching Friends book, which is really cool because it's got, there we go. So it's got their name, their social media, mailing address, email address, what their YouTube channel is. So this is a really fun thing to, um, you know, needlework friends and social media contacts. So I love it. And it's, I love the, the pattern that's on there that she designed. And then it's cute little cross stitch charts. Super fun. So, and it's only like 10 bucks and it's, a, it's really well constructed. There's a lot of pages in here. So my stitching friends by Amanda, by artist design, Amanda May. Love it. So super fun. I'll link it below. I'm going to, that'll come in handy this week. And then I got mail from Poland. If that looks familiar, it's because it is. 
It is Alice in Wonderland by Maria Brocco. Bought it from X Stitch on Etsy or X Stitch EU on Etsy. Um, let me show the card really quick. And Michelle has a discount code Bendy Ten or yeah Bendy Ten. And that's the card. And it doesn't have. Um, Facebook is xstitch.eu, but she does have an Etsy page as well, and it's a cute little thank you card. And I'll put the link below for the Etsy store and then uh, Michelle's code too. Um, I forgot to put the code in. I'm a little dumb, but that's okay. So I'm excited to get her started, but it's a really good kit. Comes with everything you need. Comes with the, the linen, comes with all the all the fabric or all the um, flosses that you need um and there's blends and it's the 32 count murano lagana and it's 121 by 132 stitches my favorite part of it is that flamingo in the teacup i can't even the amount of evens that i can't huh kyle um kyle Rockemeyer, stitching and sound i'll link him below too i think i've already got him linked below but he's amazing he is not for everybody. Um, I love him, but you don't want to, um, if you have children, small children around, just be warned. He doesn't swear all the time, but he does a little bit. But he just, he's working on, he's got some beautiful mirabilias that he's working on. He's got N.A. Sin that he's working on. He is a fantastic stitcher. So that's what I have for haul. Um, shout outs real um kind of shout outs or new people that are new to me um well not new to me i've just finally gotten around to watching them <laughs> but um hear about them all the time but heather link is my homeboy she is super awesome um i've seen her stuff done she and michelle collaborate all the time um she's awesome she's got some really cool um projects that she's working on i love the mini monsters um that she's working on with fuzzy fox designs is the is the sal um, but yeah, they're little mini monsters. They're adorable. And then she got a, um, some stitches that she rescued, um, from her sister, I want to say sister, sister-in-law and they're Asian fans. And she's got like two of them are completely done. And then there's one that needs to be finished. And she's talking about how she was going to frame it in her last one. And it's really, really cool. So, um, can't wait for Friday to come, for Thursday to come actually, and then um, we're going to be driving um, to Oregon and then we'll meet up with Michelle on Friday and hang out with her a little bit. And then Acorns has their um, their preview night and they do a little drawing and stuff like that for the retreat. They close at a certain time and then they reopen a little bit later, like from 6 to 8, so it's not super long. Go home or back to the hotel and then um, we'll go to the con convention center is where we're going this year um, in Lake Oswego and then stitch all day and they'll feed us lunch and then we go to dinner and then Sunday we come back stitch a little more and then leave usually about three o'clock and then we'll go have dinner pack up and then Monday morning we'll leave in the mor early in the morning so super excited it'll be fun um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you, um, I'm happy to have you here. Um, just trying to think of what else is going on. I'll, like I said, I'll put some pictures at the end of the prairie schooner that my husband and I hung out in for our anniversary for our dinner. Um, I got, he got, he did a really good job. Him and my oldest daughter picked out this little bracelet for me from our for our anniversary it's really cool it's it's got uh, it adjusts this way so it doesn't have a clasp so that's really nice um, but I'll do a close-up picture of it oh that actually shows up really really well but I love it very pretty so until next time I will have updates from spring fling and pictures and so much fun and I hope you guys have a great week be safe be kind um, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.